Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Motic tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know to get started with Motic and how you can use it for open source marketing automation. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the Motic dashboard. This is what you get upon logging in or signing up for their free trial. Now you can just type in Modic at your browser and you should be able to see this on your uh, first few results. And then just go ahead and open it up to see this landing page wherein you can just register or log in directly. And you just need to fill in the necessary details so that you can get started with at your very own account on Modic. So once that's done, again, you'll be able to see this dashboard. And before we get started on diving into this dashboard, Modic is an open source marketing automation platform that helps businesses manage campaigns, email marketing, lead management, and more. Now here we can see that there is a mini walkthrough or guide that uh, Modic showcases for uh, new users. So we're going to try to go through this first before anything else. So this is your dashboard. Follow the tour to get started and learn how features work. So here, uh, filter the dashboard data. By default, Modic displays data from the past 30 days, but you can change it in the configuration. It applies to all widgets. And then here, you can see essential information using widgets. So these are the charts used to display data. As soon as information starts being collected, check them again. So here you can navigate through Modic. The main menu allows you to easily access and explore its various features. And I believe that's it. All right. So again, we have the dashboard here. And since uh, we barely have any data, since we're using a free trial account, this is what we can only see from our graphs. You can see some upcoming emails, recent activity right here, form submissions, page visits, and then contacts created. All right, so what else can we see from the dashboard overview? We have the segments here. This is where you can group your contacts based on criteria and contacts over here where you can manage individual leads. We have campaigns, campaigns for automating workflows and marketing processes. And then we should have, what else should we have here? We have forms. Do we have forms? Yeah, the points over here where you can manage actions, manage triggers and manage groups. We have the reports where we can track and analyze campaign performance. For components, we have the assets and forms right here, landing pages, dynamic content. So for the forms, you can build forms to collect user information. And then the channels over here for marketing messages, emails where you can create and send email campaigns and focus items as well. All right, so those are what we have for the left-hand toolbar. And here under stages, you can map out your customer journey. You can define and manage the various stages of the customer lifecycle from initial contact to post-purchase engagement. By organizing leads into distinct stages, you can implement targeted marketing strategies, personalize communications, and analyze progression through the marketing funnel. All right, so... Currently, there are no stages, and you can add one by clicking on this uh, new button right here. So you can just name your stage action here and then add in a description, toggle it active or inactive. Then there's also an active at date and time, and then deactivate at date and time. You can categorize it as well, and then include a wait. So this will help you determine if a contact moves forward to a stage or a contact cannot change to a stage of lower weight. Once you're done with that, just hit save, and then you'll have a new stage action on your Modic account. All right, so let's see how we can add contacts. So we're just going to head to the contact section right here. As you can see, we have some default contacts 
uh, or contact database that came with the Modic free trial. So here, once you've implemented Modic's tracking code, you will be able to see all the unidentified and identified visitors that are interacting with your website. To fill or extend the list or this list, import your own contacts. Let's check toggle anonymous contacts. Modic creates unidentified visitors contacts that we don't have a name or email address for yet based on their IP. Click to toggle between unidentified visitors or anonymous contacts and known visitors later. So this one right here, this uh, incognito looking logo, clicking it will allow us to see unidentified contacts. As you can see, instead of their actual names, we see an IP address. All right, so we have the option here on the right side to add a new contact. So we can just click on that. And here, you just need to fill in the details to manually add a contact or if you want to add more than one contact you can import multiple contacts right here so we just need to uh, upload a csv file containing the contacts to import with a maximum file size of 64 megabytes so this will allow us to uh, quickly upload contacts lessening the time needed to uh, do such tasks now we're just going to head back to our contacts list and we're just gonna check this quick add feature okay so this is also the same as adding a contact I believe it's just on a uh, like a quick flash kind of uh, window wherein we can just enter the first name last name email and then tags and the other necessary uh, details for this contact all right, so that's how you add contact. Now we're gonna try to show how to create segments. So here on the segments section, segments are used to categorize your contacts into specific lists based on their attributes, behavior, or campaign participation. Click new to add a new segment. For example, you can create the first to monitor contacts who visited your website's contact page. So again, we have a list of segments here already or contact segments based on the data provided by Modic on our free trial. If you want to uh, add your own, then just click on new and then fill in the necessary details here. It will be visible only for you and other Modic users in the segments page. Use this field to display another name to contacts. It would be useful in the preference center to allow people to manage their segment membership later. All right, so you also have the filter section here. Contacts that match the filters will be added and contacts that no longer match will be removed. Those manually added will remain untouched. And once you're done with that, again, don't forget to hit save. You will have a new contact segment. Now we're just going to show you real quick how to build campaigns. So we're going to head over to campaigns here. And here you'll manage and power your marketing automation processes within Modic. So we have campaign A, which is uncategorized. If you want to add your own or build one, just click on new. Then you're going to name your campaign and associate it with a segment. And you're going to use the visual campaign builder to design workflows. So here you can launch a campaign builder where you can add actions, set conditions, and use decisions to create branching workflows. And again, uh, just choose your cat category here if needed. You can also allow contacts to restart the campaign or set it to active and inactive, and then the date and time specified for its activation period and the activation period. Once that's done, hit save, and you should have your new campaign ready. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.